So TPU is a really great material to work with, uh, thermoplastic urethanes. And basically what TPU allows you to do is make something rubbery that can move and be squeezed and squashed and crushed in all kinds of different ways. This is one of my favorite. This is a model actually by Festo, uh, which is a robot finger that is able to adapt to whatever is moving around. So it's for like grabbing apples or produce so that it doesn't damage soft items. But it, this is made with TPU, and with TPU there's a few challenges. Since it's a soft material, it's really hard for 3D printers to work with it because they're dumb machines just pushing stuff back and forth. But the material changes and moves around. Here's the first thing to do if you're working with TPU. Try to have a direct drive extruder machine. Your direct drive machines have a lot less chance for that filament to jam or bow or bend or compress in such a way that it jams up the machine. Very often Bowden extruder machines end up jamming because in that long tube that the filament has to go through, it's basically being compressed inside of there so it's like a spring being squashed and going out sideways. So it grabs onto that tube and it's really tough to control. That's the number one one. If you can get a direct drive machine, use the direct drive machine. Uh, number two, run a little bit slow. Run pretty slow. Again, since the, the filament is soft and squashes, if you push it back here, it takes a minute for it, that push to catch up to the front. Because again, you're like compressing a spring. So if you go really slow, you give it time for that push to travel down the filament and then show up at your extruder. So you want to print kind of slowly. If you're using retractions, have a fast retraction, but then if your slicer permits it, have a really slow prime amount. Again, so that you have time to reload the nozzle and the filament is able to all catch up and recompress and reach stasis again. If you go fast, then you're going to end up with gaps in your print. The next thing to be concerned about is print speed in general. Just go slow. This filament does not like going very fast because of all that compressibility. Obviously, when using TPU, sometimes it has difficulty connecting in between layers. So if you want your TPU parts to be a little bit stronger through the layers, turn off the cooling fan, and that will allow those layers to adhere to each other much better. That's pretty much the main things about TPU. It's a great material. It has very high temperature resistance. Of course, it's super flexible. And if you want it to be rigid, just make the part solid. And then you end up with basically a rubber bumper that's pretty stiff and kind of rigid, but still has some flexibility and some forgiveness if it's going to be beat on a lot. So guys, hopefully that's helpful as far as working with TPU. Those are kind of the three basic rules of it. Have a great day.